coming your way. I think this is great to see the feedback from yesterday's more advanced lower body session. Today is upper body and it's going to be great for those that started maybe in June all the way back when we first launched this community. Maybe you were used to training in the gym and now you're used to training at home with me, uh, which is amazing. And it's going to be great for you to see how far you've progressed by smashing these harder workouts out. If you're new to the community, please go back to June. Do this workout nice and slow. This is very similar to one that we did in June at the beginning, but obviously I never give you two workouts the same. It's more, this is like a little sense check of December versus June. And we are going to build on that June workout. This is going to be super tough. Um, do what you can. Obviously, you can regress. You don't have to use weights. You can reduce the reps. You can rest, yeah? So you can still do this as a beginner. Do not be scared. If you've got a band, great. Otherwise, don't worry. We're just going to do a little bit of mobility with that. You've, I've got a selection of weights. You could be using tins, bottles. Um, candle holders I've seen uh, one of my clients use. Whatever you've got, we are covering hip, strength and core. Anyone live with me, yay! And if you're on replay, just leave me your comments. It's great to see, even if you want to write something down for you to remember, like I managed to do it all, I had to rest or whatever. It's great for you to then go back to and compare. We are going to get warm, put your trackers on, I love seeing the stats, I saw nearly 400 calories being burnt yesterday's workout which was the lower body advanced one, I'm going to stick mine on as well, we're going to get moving, let's start picking up the pace, we're going to do a few arm circles, three back, so this is more upper body with a bit of hip, with some core, Mixing it all in, four coming forward. You can move into a bit of a job if you want. If you've got your band, you're going to try and do your lovely shoulder flossing for me. It's probably easier not jogging there, but get that full, lovely range. You know you've done this so many times before if you're new. This is the shoulder floss, something I recommend we do every single day pulling that band apart, using the resistance. You could use a pair of old tights for this if you haven't got these bands, but they're so readily available on Amazon. Really opening out, don't worry if you stop here. Over time, you'll be able to lengthen the arms and get them all the way around and back. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, one more. We've got to get warm. This is going to be a tough one. Hence me spending time on the warm up is so important. Cross body openers, lengthening out. If you don't have a band, just open those arms out, lengthen out, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Core in tight, the whole workout. Knees soft, chest lifted, shoulder blades back. You know the drills now. Come on, I don't expect much, do I? Just perfect form and technique to avoid injury and get the best results. Two more, and last one. Excellent, you can't do an upper body workout with Lavina without getting some walkouts done. We're just gonna focus on the upper body, so hinge you get the hips. We're gonna walk those hands out to a high plank straight back up because we're focusing on upper, inhale, exhale, my legs are feeling it from yesterday and if anyone's joining me from my fitness advent calendar, for some reason I have done a lower body hit snap, it's going to be hit as well as lower but it's going to be very short. So get that done with me if you can as well, then you've done your full body today. Coming out into that plank, sucking that belly button up to the ceiling. Are those arms getting warm? Let's do one more, hold that plank, activate the core. Can you tap the shoulders without moving your
your hips around. If you can't, just hold the plank for two, one, lift the hips, walk it back. Those are hard, yeah? If you're new to it, just you know, you've got to build up to that, yeah? We did them quite fast because we've been doing them for quite a while now. If you've been on this community for so long now, I can't believe it's been six months. All fours, guys. We are going to first bring our hand by our ear, opening out the spine, bringing that elbow down towards the wrist. Inhale, exhale. Just working our upper back, our body, is just twisting around, feel that space, your body's allowing you, it might be tight, do what you can, and relax. Other side, hand by the ear, elbow towards that wrist, then opening out. That's it, exhale, open out, inhale towards the wrist, exhale, open out, feel so good. On the upper back, it's all going to be working today as well. Woo! Last one, we're going to thread it through, bring that ear down, and then opening up. I'm just going to get in perfect all fours position with my knees under my hips, and open out. How does that feel? One more on this side, opening out. So important to do this mobility work. Get everything nice and warm, loosened up. Two more on the other side. Reaching through, ear comes down and up. Nice and dynamic, keeping it moving. Okay, hair's out, it's gonna stay out. Guys, if you have got tins or light bottles, I'm going to grab these lovely cartons of mine. If you've got one kg dumbbell, ideal, because we're going to do hit first. We are going to do boxing with some light dumbbells. Then we're going to do star jumps. I want you to keep moving today. This is advanced. I don't want any major rest unless you need it. If you do, obviously, please rest but I'm pushing you guys, so get your steps in as well. It is 40 seconds, that's why it's more advanced. We're going for longer duration, yeah? Boxing, star jumps, then we're gonna do walkouts with mountain climbers. You will see the drill, do not worry, but we're working back to back, yeah? No break. So, it is basically nine rounds. Let's get it done. Blitz it out, starting with our boxing. So if you're carrying any light weights, you can shuffle the feet, ideally for advance. If you can, we're gonna run it out in two, one, let's go. Box it out. Fast feet, strong punches. Come on, let's get that heart rate up. We've got 40 seconds here, team. Woo! Keep going. Let's hope these cartons don't burst on me. I'm squeezing them so hard. Strong punches, fast feet, core engaged. Let's go, come on, keep working. 10 seconds. Can you keep it up? Longer hit here. Three. Two, one, relax. Star jumps, for those advanced, I'm gonna give you this option, because not all of you will wanna jump the whole way through. Let's go, guys. If you can, you're doing the full star jumps. Clapping at the top, because you're amazing. You're doing this with me. Give yourself a clap. Full range of movement. Keep working, in and out. Woo! We're halfway, guys. These are tough, right? Star jumps are hard. You can slow it down. You can even regress to the easier option. Keep it going, five seconds. That's it. Two, one. We are going into walkouts. Like our beginning mobility, you're going to walk it out, hold that plank, six controlled mountain climbers, and then lift the hips, walk it back, add a jump for me if you can, walk it out, six, five, four, 
going to do it again for me, I'm sure. Um, when you do this again, I want you literally hard to speak. Like me, anaerobic training zone, yes? That's it, okay. Now we're going into weights. Advanced workouts, so keep jogging if you can, yeah? Or just keep with some sort of movement. I'm not going through form and technique on every exercise because you have been building up towards this. You are gonna do three exercises, same sort of circuit. We're going for 30 seconds because we're doing back to back, yeah? It's gonna be a proper blitz. So there is no rest. Te three exercises. We have got press ups. I'm showing you one variation. You could still be on the wall. It doesn't mean that this is an advanced workout. You'd be on the wall until you get to three sets of 10 perfect press ups. Then you come down to box position. If you are on the ground, I'm going to do these with full press ups. But it's also a good option. Have you ever tried press ups using your hands on dumbbells? Even if you're three quarter of box, it is going to give you that little bit extra depth, that little challenge, and it's going to be lovely and uncomfortable on the palms of your hands, just like those renegade rows I often show you. Give it a go, yeah? This is just something new. Press up, shoulder press, bicep curls. Are we ready, team? I'm going to move this mat out of the way. I've got a selection of weights. For my shoulder press, I'm going heavy. Same with my bicep curls, as heavy as I can. It's 30 seconds, guys. Get your weights ready. Get your head in the game. We are going in 15 seconds. Give it a go. If you can't do it on the dumbbells, drop them and just move them to the side. Get your normal press-ups in. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Down, squeeze up. Core in tight. Exhale as we push up. This is horrible. On the palms of my hands because it's my whole body weight. But I can go nice and deep. Elbows are staying nice and tucked in as you progress your press up. Woo! Last one. Oh, killer. Straight up. We have got shoulder press. Go for it, guys. Bring that weight up. Let's have the palms facing forward. Press up. Exhale. By your ears, straight back up. Keep that tension. So don't drop the weights lower than your ears. Back up. Oh, my God. Killer. And I've gone for medium weight here. I don't even think I'm going for my eights today. This is hard enough. No rest, hardly. Straight in, relax. Hold the weights if you can for bicep curls or adjust your weight. Core in, elbows glued to your sides. Let's go. Curl it in, really feel it. This eccentric lowering, that negative phase, goes slow, time under tension. Exhale as you curl, inhale as you release. Come on guys, feel it. Are you squeezing those biceps? Is your core in tight? Woo! Hardcore. Back to press ups. Wall, box, three quarter, full, whatever you're doing. I'm gonna go a bit narrower. Let's go. Down and up, 30 seconds. Rest if you need to, otherwise try and push through with me. Come on. We can do this. Feeling good. Woo! If I need to, I will drop my knees down. If my form goes, I'd rather you regress. Oh, killer. Let's go. Back up, bend those legs, pick up your weight this time. Hands, palms facing you. We're going to do double press up. 
but palms facing me. Strict press. If you need your legs, give it a little go, but try and just use your upper body. Exhale. Inhale. Ah, killer. Come on. Feeling great though. Feel strong. Get one or two more reps in for me. Ah, oh, hard. Shoulders back. Chest lifted. Core in tight. Bicep curls. Let's do single, single, double. That's it. Single, control that face down. Single, slow, double. Don't swing your body. Everything is still, secure, strong, controlled. Let's keep going. One more single, single, last double. Woo! Final press ups, gang. Come on, let's get it done. This is hardcore, isn't it? Yes, I love it. Okay, if you're on dumbbells, good luck. Good luck to me. Inhale, exhale. Push it. If you're in a full press up, it's like a traveling plank. Everything's straight. Squeeze in. One or two more. Come on, team. Push through. I'm done. Woo. Last two exercises. Come on. Back to back. Shoulder press. Yeah. Here we're going to do single, single, double. And push up. Palms are facing towards me. Single, single, double. If anyone wants to try an Arnold press, Palms towards you, palms away. Palms back towards you, palms away. You're twisting. This is a hard variation. Come back to that one. We will do more in the new year. Shake those arms out. Pick up those weights. Final bicep curls. Let's go. Halfway up, down. Just halfway to your belly button, keep your wrist straight to your forearms, down, one more, halfway up, down, all the way up, then only halfway down, all the way up, halfway down, so it's only going down to your belly button, now the full curl, for the last one, full curl, Woo! there we go guys, Oh my goodness. How is everyone? Live gang. I hope you are feeling this, whether you're live or replay, whenever you get this done. I hope you're bloody burning up like I am. Oh my goodness. How amazing. Shake those arms out. Add in for a jog when you're ready. I'm going to tell you what we've got left. You're going to love me. <laughs> After this, we have got our two team Zoom catch up tonight. So I can't wait to see you guys virtually. I wish I could have you all over in my garden. Such a shame. I was hoping to have mince pies, mulled wine, all the Christmassy treats for you. But we're doing it on Zoom. Let's get into our final strength set. We are doing dips. Dips on the mat, I have shown you before, level one. Dips on the ground, otherwise elevated surface. Sofa, whatever you've got, bed, even your stairs would be fine. That's the first exercise. Then we are doing front to side raises. This is Levina's Favourite moves all in one workout. Bashing them out back to back. Bent over rows is the third exercise. Remember, when we're in this position, let me see my back, it is not here. We are glued, pushing those hips back, tight hamstrings, flat straight back, rowing in. We're going to add some variations. 
position, don't worry. Let us get going. Let's get through this. And we've got core left. This is a good one, team. Again, super high calories for 20 minutes or so. Woo! Let's go. Keep it moving. Are you still jogging? We're going to go in 15 seconds, so get ready for your dips. Think about your weight, light weights for the front and side raises. A little bit heavier or heavy for those bent over rows, depending on what you can do. It's your body. Listen to it. 15 seconds. I'm getting ready for incline dips against the surface that's not going to move. Bent legs or straight legs is harder. If you can, add a weight when you can smash these out easily. Let's go. Bend those elbows. Back. Keep them tucked in. Inhale, exhale. That's it. 20 seconds. Inhale, exhale. Go low. Keep your body close to the surface. If you're on the floor, it's a small movement. Bend those elbows. Last one. Keep going. Woo. Felt that. Straight in, guys. There's no rest. By the time you pick up your weights, we are straight in. Front to side raises to shoulder height. Arms pretty straight. Slight bend in those elbows. Keeping them slightly soft. Exhale as you lift up. Core tight, don't swing the back. Keep it controlled. Let's go, let's go. Last few, can you feel these shoulders sculpting? Woo! Relax. I'm going for a heavier weight. Bend over rows, carefully lift up. Shoulders fixed. Scapula set. Hinge at the hips. Core in tight, let's do singles. Singles this round. Elbow comes in, brushing past the side of my body. If your back starts rounding, get up, reset. Rejoin. Core tight to protect your lower back. Squeeze up. Come on, row in. Back strength. Love it. Back to dips. Oh, this is the killer one. Compound move. Like our press ups. Let's go. Whether you're on the mat or elevated, do what you can. I know it's hard on the wrists, they will get stronger. Who's been doing these since June? You know your strength has increased. Yes. Come on, let's go. Five seconds, three, two, woo, one. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Into those front and side raises. Weights up, core in tight. Let's go. Feels so good to work this hard at the end of the year. This is your effort you've been putting in for as long as you've been on this community. Well done. Come on. 10 seconds. Push through. There's no stopping us right now. Yep. Let's go. Last one. Well done. We're going to try double bent over rows. If you can't stick to the singles, depending on your weight, let's go. Row up. Really control it again. Slow on the way down. High on the tension. Halfway. You feel like your form's gone? Straighten out. Hips back. Tight hamstrings. Come on. Flat back, core in tight. Woo! Oh, last 
reps left. Oh, amazing. Last, front to side raises. Sculpting those del deltoids. Let's lift, control, lift, control it down. It's not just bringing it down quickly, yeah? Really feel it. That's it. Doing so, so well, team. Come on, there's no stopping us. We're going to get through this. Together, we've got one more rep. That's it. One up and down. Okay, single, single, doubles. If you can. Or do whichever one you want. Get through it. Single row, single row, double. Single, single, double. Control, single, single, double. Keep going, team. This should be really hard now. You've got the right weight. Challenge yourself. And up. We got through it. Oh, amazing. Incredible work, guys. Shake it out. Oh my God. Give those arms a bit of a roll. Maybe just put your hands on your shoulders and just get a few shoulder rolls in. Oh, heart rate is so high. Runners, tell me that this is the equipment. I know it is for sure. If you challenge yourself, you are going to get so many more benefits doing this than running, I'm afraid, because you are building lean muscle, we're preventing osteoporosis, sarcopenia, we're increasing our bone density, getting them strong. So many health benefits from strength training. We are going to finish now with core. So step it out while I explain what we're doing. Jog it out if you've got some energy in you. We're doing three exercises. You know the drill now. That 10 seconds in between is literally to get into the next exercise. It is not a rest, it's pretty much back to back we're working. That's why it's so advanced today, yeah? So we're going from our plants. We're gonna add some variations in. For those of you that are mixing your planks up, we can easily hit 30 seconds. If you can't, do your basic plank for as long as you can for that 30 seconds. Then we're doing bicycles. We're gonna vary those up as well. Then we are doing leg raises with some twists as well, yeah? Single leg raises with beginners, doubles, and we're gonna add a little bit more in. Bit of fun. Okay, guys, you need a mat or a carpet. Protect your lovely forearms. Get ready for your first plank. Come on, we can do this. It is going to whiz by. We are going in 15 seconds. Get ready. Back to back. Nine exercises. Well, three different ones, nine rounds. In five seconds. In our perfect plank. Let's lift up, get it solid first, feet together. Tighten your core, lift it up, defy gravity, straight line, head to heel. Those of you that want to progress, rock it back and forth onto your tiptoes. Push through the heels, it's like a saw. My hips are not going up or caving in. It's that perfect plank, oh, feel it. That's it, on our back. You know we're gonna get bicycles in. This beginner option is still there, guys. It's a good one. Otherwise, full bicycles with me. Can you go lower now with the legs compared to when you started maybe in June, September, even the beginning of this month we've had new joiners. Bring those legs low, push that back into the mat, I don't want it arching off. Core in tight. Twist round. Come on, lift that shoulder blade up and round and down. Support our lower coccyx with your hands under that spine, lower bit. Legs up. You could do singles, but this is advanced. Let's go slow down. Low. 
This can be called normal plank. Otherwise, I want you to try and just touch over those hips. Touch other side. You're drawing a little semicircle like a rainbow. Don't lose your form. Check in the middle. Is it perfect? Hip touch. Straight round. So good. Come on. Hold that core in. Suck it up. Suck it up. Tight glutes and relax. That was hard. Bicycles. The next level is to add a hold in. So we're going to go across. Hold. Two. One. And switch. Hold. Two. One. Switch. Three. Two. One. Switch. Three. Two. One, switch. Keep it going. If you can't do the hold, carry on your level. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Woo! Leg raises. Let's get them up. The advanced option here is to add a little lift of those hips. Control it down into the leg raise. Lift up. It's just a lift, yeah? It's controlled. It's like an inch off the ground. Roll the spine down. Don't let it arch off the mat. That's it. Legs straight. Feet flex. Up. Roll down. Straight into those raises. Woo! Oh my goodness. We are planking. We're going to go commando style, high plank to low plank, final upper body burnout, perfect low plank, two or high, you can alternate the hands, you push up from low to high, control, hold it in each one and make sure your plank is perfect, Woo! hold your low plank or high plank if it's too hard. My core is on fire here. Let's go. Last low plank. Down. Bicycles. You're going to love me. We are going slow hold, switch. Slow hold. Slow hold, switch. Slow hold and switch. Now fast, fast bicycles, but perfect ones. Come on, twist, 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 twist. Keep going. Last five seconds, slow and switch, slow and switch. Woo! We are going to do leg raises, down, flutter, kick. Few seconds at the bottom, feet together, back up. Let's go low. Can you point those toes? Flutter kick, back push into the mat, back up. Feet together, go low, then flutter kick. Three, two, one, and back up. This is hard, stick to your level. Three, two, one, hug, close knees in. Oh my goodness me, guys. Who felt that? Guys, I am really feeling it myself. That's how I know it was hard. I can't wait to see everyone's feedback. Just hug your knees in while I quickly switch this music. Let's get something nice and relaxing. Woo, heart rate is super high still, guys. How are you feeling? Okay, guys, we are going to stretch. We need to stay on your back. If you're here, just stay on your back, arms out wide. Now let your knees drop to one side, head over to the other. Try and keep both shoulder blades pushed into the ground. 
opposite way of looking over to where your knees dropped. Nice lumbar twist, supine release. Inhale, back to the middle. Knees go the other way. This feels so good. Woo, amazing effort, everyone. So proud of you all. Wish I could see you and tell you face to face. But tonight we are Zooming. So I hope lots of you can join, even if it's just for five minutes. Whatever you can do. I know it's uh, family time, kids time, um, it's Liverpool match, that's why I've been excused from watching with our puppy and my son. <laughs> so let's go on all fours. Exhale, really arch the back. Bring those shoulders away from the ears, looking up. Really extend that tailbone out, hold here, breathe through it. Stay here, really, I love that expansion. And then round it up, opposing one, chin to chest, opening out all these vertebrae, tucking the tailbone under. That's it, lovely release. Well done, down to all fours again. We are going to bring one arm through, but we're gonna hold it this time. Just like our warm up, but we're doing static stretches. Can lengthen out the top arm and try and bring your ear down towards the mat. You should feel that round your shoulder blades, your upper back. Two way stretch with that arm in front as well. Breathe. Nice deep breaths. Calming the body and the mind. Bring that top arm back by your face. Push up your body weight using that hand. Let's go to the other side. Thread through, ear down. Lengthen out that top arm. So important to stretch, guys. I hope your stretching has improved this year. Yeah, I hope I'm forcing you to stretch with me, you're gonna benefit so much, yeah? Just even for our mental health. Know you've got these two, three minutes to calm in your day, focus on your breath. My arms are shaking. <laughs> and then bring that hand back, push your weight back up. We're gonna go into a nice child's pose. So bring the glutes to the heels. Down we go, as far as you can with your head, chest towards the ground, arms extended, really feel it. Hold and breathe into your rib cage. Gosh, my whole upper body is actually shaking. <laughs> Two and one. Amazing team. Tuck those toes under, let's lengthen out all those legs. If you did yesterday's workout, if you're joining me for a snack as well. Ooh, I can feel those. Ragdoll, just let everything go. Relax your head, your neck, add some movement, maybe side to side. Whatever feels good, back to the middle. Roll up each vertebra, head and shoulders, coming up last. We're going to do a last tricep stretch, bringing your hand to that opposite elbow, bringing that hand back down the middle of your back, just adding a bit of pressure, opening out these lovely tricep muscles. We have worked everything hard today. We've done amazing. And the other side, elbow up. Bring it back, lovely release. Hold, hold, hold. Incredible team. You guys rock. Give me your feedback, share your stats, share your comments. Was it too hard? That may be the case. We need to still build up. Everyone is different. Breathe in lots of positivity. Exhale any negativity, stress, anxiety, all away. Breathe in lots of positivity. Hands meet at the top, down to your amazing heart center. Woo! Just over 45 minutes. Super, super work 
today, guys. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Um, 